I think that the, um, I think our jobs and all of society is set up with a slavery system. And a lot of people haven't seen themselves as slaves. You know, they, they submit to an employer. They may work 40 or 50 hours a week, whatever is agreed upon between the employee and the employer. And the um, employee follows the rules of the employer. They put in the mandated number of hours that their job requires. And then the government takes a huge amount of taxes out of their check or takes an amount of, of taxes out of their check. And that whole system, in my opinion, is a slavery system too. And I don't think people saw that because it, it didn't, it still afforded us enough freedom that we had say over our own body. But now with this stab mandate that's coming out, I think it's removing the veil from people's eyes because people are now saying, wait a minute, this is my body. I've chosen to work for you. I've selected you as my employer. You know, we have an agreement. I work a certain number of hours. You pay me a certain price. And yes, they've taxed my check, which in my opinion is slavery too. Um, I think that people are now waking up because the employers are getting bold enough. They're saying, we're requiring that you submit your body to something, um, a stab, I call it. And people are waking up saying, wait a minute, you know, what about my right to my own body? My body is my life. My body is the only body I'm going to have on this earth. And if it gets killed or if it gets injured or if it gets maimed, because of what's in this stab, then, you know, I'm not gonna be able to work. And if I'm disabled, I'm not gonna be able to go to my job. The employer really has no right. You have the right. The employer has no right to mandate this. So, and what people aren't seeing when they do submit to this, when they do comply, and a lot of people don't want to comply. I know a lot of people that don't want to take this, but they're afraid they're going to lose their job. What they're not seeing is this is going to have a domino effect. If you take this to appease your employer, you have no control over what the other employees do in that organization. In fact, even if your entire organization submits, you have no control over what the electric company employees decide to do, what the water company employees decide to do, what the store employees decide to do, what your doctors and nurses in the healthcare system decide to do. And everything in society is interdependent. Um, everything is. So that's where that phrase, where we go one, we go all, comes into play. All it takes is one domino to fall so that it affects everything else that's interrelated. So even if, and God forbid, but even if everybody where you are complies, I can tell you there are going to be places that won't comply. And all you need is one domino in this chain reaction to fall and it all comes down. Think about the truckers. Think about the employees that work on cargo ships that bring supplies and goods into our country. So I would say, look out for your own body, look out for your own rights. And the only way this agenda is going to come down is if we, the people come together and we say, no, my body, my rights, and I don't want this evil system to continue to get worse and worse. And those, those that take this stab are the ones that are going to be the losers because they think they're preserving their job, but they're not. They're not going to preserve their job. The whole thing is coming down. All of the evil and wicked systems in this world are going to come down. And no one person, you know, it's the majority. It's the majority that has the strength. It's, it's the unity of the people. And we all need to stand firm. And I also think this is coming down to a test of faith. There are the people who are blind and just willingly said, oh, sure, I'll take it. Okay, they did. Then the next group of people are the people whose eyes are open and they're saying, wow, there's something wrong with this. 
I don't want it. And they're facing the question, do I have enough faith in God that he will supply my need? Like the Bible says, God will supply your need. And he tells you to stand firm and see the salvation of the Lord. And a lot of people don't have that faith and they're going to cave and they're going to end up losing their job and everything will come down anyway. And then they might even lose their health or they might lose their life in some cases. I do know personally a lot of people, a handful of people that have died and I know a handful of people in heart failure and with bleeding disorders now. Anyway, I probably shouldn't say too much on YouTube, but what I'm saying is it's coming down to a test of faith. It's coming down to a test of faith. You know, do you believe that God will meet your need? And then it comes down to the question that I was asked in 2012, do you want to know the supernatural? If all of the systems in the world do come down, if all of these evil systems that are all rooted in satanic principality driven um, evil roots do come down, we have to rely on God and we have to rely on the supernatural that comes from heaven. So get ready. It may come to that and that may be how this move is introduced and this may be how this revival comes about in the earth. So I have another video and I'll share that soon.